Hello friends, this video on redox reaction part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we, let's do a recap of redox reactions in terms of oxidation number, right? So the new definition is oxidation is nothing but the increase in oxidation number. Reduction is nothing but the decrease in reduction, oxidation number. Oxidizing agents are reagents which increase the oxidation number of another element and they then some get reduced. Similarly, reducing agents are those uh, elements or compounds which lowers the oxidation number of another element and then still get oxidized. Right? So, redox reaction is reduction which involves change in oxidation number. Now, the question is are all the reactions redox reactions? The answer is no, because there are some reactions which are not react. For example, this is an acid base reaction, and if you want to find the oxidation number, just do it. So let our rule says free image of human face, right? So free and I we can use O will use this becomes minus two. So this becomes uh, for PB this becomes plus two, right? Similarly, HCl this becomes H, right? So plus one, so Cl minus will become minus one, right? So the PB Cl2, this becomes minus one, this becomes plus two. H2O, this becomes minus two first, and plus one. So if you see in this case, lead, PB, the oxidation number is maintained, right? Minus two to minus, plus two to plus two, same. If you talk about oxygen, oxidation number is maintained, right? Minus two to minus two. If you talk about hydrogen, the oxidation number is maintained, right? Plus one to plus one. If you talk about chlorine, the oxidation number here also is maintained. So in all these cases, if you see the oxidation number is mentioned, if you talk about lead, oxygen, hydrogen, chlorine, there is no change in oxidation number. This is acid-base reaction. But there are very few reactions which are not redox, but yeah, there are reactions which are not redox reactions. So we talked about oxidizing as in reducing agent, oxidant, reactant. Yes. Uh, see some of the popular oxidizing agent in the market. So potassium permanganate is one, we use it a lot in the labs. Potassium dichromate K2Cr207 is also a very popular oxidizing agent. Halogens, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, they are also oxidizing agents. Potassium iodide is also oxidizing agent. Nitric acid is also a strong oxidizing agent. Manganese dioxide is also a strong oxidizing agent. So let's talk about reducing agent. Ferrous sulfate is a good reducing agent. Then we have stannous chloride is also a good reducing agent. Hydrogen sulfide is a good reducing agent. Sulfur dioxide is also a good reducing agent. Oxalic acid H2C2O4 is a good reducing agent. And metals like zinc, magnesium, they are also good reducing agents. You should know all these things that if you talk about oxidizing agent, you should have uh, the names in your mind. When you talk about reducing agent, you should have names of all these uh, uh, compounds in your mind. For example, uh, when you talk about oxidizing agent, you think like iodine because that's the oxidizing agent. When you talk about reducing agent, you should think like metals, sulfur dioxide because with this, you, you become more familiar with chemistry. You know that these are oxidizing agents or these are reducing agents. Correct. Let's take some example here to justify these reactions as reduction reaction. As I told, Redox reaction is a reaction where both oxidation and reduction take place. So let's find out. Let's find the oxidation number of uh, Cu and O in this. So with the formulas we have is uh, free image of human face, right? F and I is not used because in most of the case we don't have free or uh, ions. Oxygen, this is minus two. So this is minus two, this becomes plus two. You know why? Because the overall has to be zero. F, I, O, H, so this becomes plus is equal to zero. Why? Because it is free, right? Copper is zero because free. H2O, O is minus two, and this becomes plus one. Why? Because the it has to be zero. Now, in this case, if you see copper from two, it became zero. Hydrogen from zero, it became one. That means if you see here is Decrease in oxidation number, this is reduction. 
he has increased in oxidation remember this is oxidation correct so this is a redox reaction let's take this example fe 2o3 this is not free this is not ions so we'll take this guy as minus 2 this becomes minus 6 this has to become 6 6 by 2 this plus 3 correct co again formula same formula o is minus 2 so this carbon is plus 2 this is 0 free ions this is minus 2 minus 2 into 2 minus 4 this has to be 4 so that over it is 0 plus 4 now if you see the carbon thing became plus 2 to plus 4 right iron 3 to 0 so if you see this is nothing but reduction right this is nothing but oxidation right because here we have increase in oxidation number from 2 to 4 here we have 3 to 0 so this is also redox reaction let's take some more example bcl3 this becomes minus 1 this becomes plus 3 okay this one free image of human face h is plus 1 and then we have lithium and aluminium so we'll make lithium as plus 1 overall if you see aluminium will come out to be minus no so if you see this hydride right this is minus 1 because it's h4 minus 1 and this becomes aluminium will be plus 3 here b2h6 this will become plus 1 this will become 6 by 2 minus 3 here cl minus 1 and lithium is plus 1 alcl3 minus is plus 3 and this is minus 1 correct now let's see b from 3 to minus 3 this is a reduction cl minus 1 to minus 1 no change leave it li plus 1 to plus 1 no change aluminium plus 3 to plus 3 no change hydrogen minus 1 to plus 1 there's an increase in oxidation so if you see this guy is oxidized and this guy is right let's take this k free state 0 f2 free state 0 this is 2k plus it is 2kf actually 2kf right so k will have plus and f will have minus charge this is 2kf actually so k will have plus 1 charge f will have minus 1 charge right because see this, with this rule you get f minus 1 and then this is plus 1 so we have done a lot of question of this uh, type in uh, exercise where we find oxidation number so i am going a little fast now if you see here k oxidation number increase chlorine oxidation number decrease right so this is reduction and this is oxidation let's take this ns3 fioh h becomes minus plus one this becomes minus three nitrogen this is zero free straight no this is o this becomes minus two this becomes plus two this is minus two and this is plus one now if you see nitrogen from minus three it became plus two hydrogen is same oxygen from zero it become minus two this is reduction right decrease in oxidation number zero to minus two this is minus three to two this is increase in oxidation number that is oxidation so thus if you see all these reactions are redox reaction because they have increase and decrease in oxidation now correct so we have to justify if this is a redox reaction so let's find the oxidation number of all using the formula we have free image of human face right so this is o minus 2 this is minus 2 overall has to be 0 it becomes plus 1 overall it is 0 this is fluorine free state 0 hf first i'll give preference to h this becomes plus one and then overall it has to be zero this becomes minus one in this case first preference is o that is minus two then h that is plus one overall it has to be zero so let this be x 
so x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 1 right so f is plus 1 here so if you see in this case hydrogen was plus 1 here plus 1 here no change plus 1 here no change oxygen is minus 2 here minus 2 here no change fluorine if you see is 0 here this is minus 1 here so this is the reduction here we see again fluorine is 0 here is plus 1 here this is oxidation so this guy is oxidation and this guy is reduction so if you see in the same equation fluorine is becoming f minus and f plus right so one case it is reducing one case it is oxidizing please note here here f has charge plus 1 because if you go by the rules fluorine charge comes out to be plus we'll take some more examples you have to find the oxidation number of sulfur chromium and nitrogen in these in fact we'll find the uh, oxidation number of all actually and you have to suggest the structure of these compound and we'll see if there is some policy so let's start with s2so5 let's try the uh, pattern we have free image of human face right so when we talk about S2SO5, let me write here S2SO5. There is no free thing here, there is no ion. Oxygen we have, so we'll take it minus 2. Hydrogen we have, we'll take it plus 1. Let this be x, you solve it, you get 2 into plus 1 for hydrogen, plus x for sulfur, plus 5 into minus 2 for oxygen, this is equal to 0. The uh, total sum formula that your sum of oxidation number is equal to 0. You solve this, you get um, x to be what? Plus 8. Right? x is equal to plus 8. But sulfur is in which group? Sulfur is in group 16. So, according to the rule, the max oxidation number of sulfur has to be plus 6 plus 8 is not possible right there is something wrong there let's try to find the structure of h2 s2 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 5 so we have structure like this correct let's put the oxidation number of hydrogen oh minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 but if you put this we'll again get the sulfur oxidation to 8 so we have to make it minus 1 here, minus 1 here. So if that way, if you see, oxidation state will come out to be 6. The oral has to be 0. So OOH, the whole oxidation state of OOH is nothing but minus 1. Correct. Let's, so oxidation state here will be 6. Let's talk about Cr2O, Cr2O7, 2 minus. Let's apply the formula FiO, yes, this is minus 2. So let's apply this is x. So this becomes 2x minus 2 into 7 is equal to net charge, which is minus 2. We solve this x to become our grid plus 6. And chromium is in group 6. So that's fine, that's fine, right? So there's no issue in this. Let's talk about NO3 minus. NO3 minus. Again, same thing, free iron O. Yes. This is minus 2. And let this be X. It becomes X minus 3 into 2 is equal to net charge minus 1. You solve, you get X equal to plus 5. And nitrogen in group 15. So group 15 can have 5. That's pretty fine. That is also correct. And I have to find the structure of this. NO3 minus, I know the structure is something like this. It will have negative charge. This is plus 5, this is minus 2, this is minus 2, this is minus 2. So overall it will have a negative charge. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.